What is up YouTube? Common Hype is here with a brand new video for you guys today. Today, obviously, uh, I am not on my main camera. I'm actually on my iPhone success just to try it out and only because I felt like being a little bit more personal with you guys. I'm always in this seat right here when I do videos. I'm always in this seat and you know, you got the background and everything like that. I'm always in that seat and that seat's wonderful, but Today I didn't feel like being in that seat and just, you know, giving your basic discussion. I felt like being a little bit more personal with you guys because this is something that is kind of more, it is more personal to me. Uh, I see it a lot more important when it comes to uh, discussion videos, especially something like this. Um, a lot of times people on YouTube say, this is not the best time to, you know, start a channel. You don't have, you know, a good structure. Uh, your foundation is not well. Your quality of your camera is not that good, blah, blah, blah. All these things about how, you know, uh, like why you shouldn't start a channel. How there's other people already out there and there's no way to get their subscribers to come to you also. Um, and that's almost kind of true. It is kind of hard. Like, you know, I'm in the sneaker channel business where, or a sneaker and apparel channel business where people like, you know, Bullet RC, Tony D2 Wild, um, Crew Kicks, Yo Anti, all these guys, Eddie Wynn, Scoop. All these guys are on the scene, a sneaker life. All these guys are on this scene, and it's really hard to pull, a, you know, subscribers from them too to subscribe to you. It's easy when you're a smaller YouTuber to say, "Hey, I'm gonna follow these guys," because usually, as smaller YouTube guys, we model and shape our videos to theirs to understand it, why they're getting big and everything. But at the same time, you can't always do that. Um, it's good to pull from other people and get research from them. That's how you make papers almost, you know what I'm saying? When you get, uh, when you cite a source, uh, there's a source that it came from. You got to cite that source, you know what I'm saying? Like certain ways you act or certain things you do. But at the same time, you can't copy the entire model only because that's their personal model. That's what they do. That's those sneaker YouTubers. That's how they do it. Not every sneakerhead is the same, which is what I've very much learned over the past two years, three years I've been in this. Um, you don't like everything that everybody likes. Uh, in different places, there are certain shoes that everybody wears. And it's like, man, these are all different kinds of shoes from different people. What, What is my style? You know, what do I choose? And honestly, you don't have to choose. You can choose anything you want. Um, and what people get caught up in is, you know, all these hype shoes and all this other stuff. And, you know, then kids are paying $1,500 for a pair of turtle doves. And honestly, I would love a pair of turtle doves in my life. To have a pair of turtle doves is like my dream. Um, there's like several dream shoes I want, like the turtle doves, Don C's. There's a lot of shoes that I wish that I could get in my collection, but I just don't have the money to buy it right now. And, you know, I do YouTube not to get that money, but honestly to just to promote me. Uh, I like telling people about sneakers. I like showing people uh, the details, the reviews. I like discussing things that happen in the sneaker world uh, with Michael Jordan, aka when he spoke out on the Black Lives Matter issue. Uh, I like that. I like talking about those things. I don't like just talking about, you know, how the Ultra Boost feel on my feet <laughs> or how, you know, these shoes look on feet all the time. A lot of times people get the shoe early and then they do the on feet. So by the time the shoe comes out, everybody's already seen that video. Everybody's already seen somebody do the full review on it. So then you think to yourself, well, What's the point of me buying shoes if everybody's going to do it, you know, and do a review on it if everybody's doing that? That's why you got to make yourself stand out. You can't do what everybody does. You got to put yourself out there and make yourself, make your brand. You, I'm branding myself. I got to promote me. And what's great is when people in the comment section or the likes area say like, hey, you're doing a great job. You're doing good with these videos. I appreciate it. And to those people, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's some been some times where I'm like, why do I even do YouTube if nobody's watching my videos? And then I get a comment that's like, I just watched your last video. I know I'm late on it and everything, but these are really dope. These are this is a good video. Blah blah blah. Those are the things that make me feel so well. It makes me want to continue. When I, I was in high school and it came to starting a YouTube channel, um, when I first started and I started in my senior year, um, I remember the people who I would not have even expected that would like my channel loved it they were like wow i said these like they, you know they might have clowned me at first They're like oh man you doing your videos or whatever man you always in those videos but at the end of the day they always it would be like isaiah i watched your last vid man 
that's so dope that you got those shoes. You got to put me on your plug. You got to talk to your people, man. You know, that's really cool. And the people who I didn't expect to even, you know, diss it or even look at them were, were like, I don't like it. Like, they're like, this is so stupid. Why are you on our channel? Videos about shoes? Why would you do that? Everybody has shoes. They're just stupid. I remember that. And there's some people that are going to diss your brand. They're going to not like you as a brand. But then you got to think to yourself, okay, I don't need to think about them. I need to think about what I want. What do I want to do? What shoes do I want to get? Don't worry about, you know, this guy didn't pick up this or this guy didn't pick up that. He shouldn't be good. It's not about that. It's about making you stand out for yourself, not for anybody else, not for any um, higher being or lower being. It's all about what you want as a person, as a brand. I didn't start my channel off with a million shoes. Y'all know that. My first video was the Maroon 6s, and I still have those you know, in my closet. Actually, and even the book bag, my Herschel <laughs> right there, that was like, the biggest thing for me. I was like, maroons and the maroon backpack, so fresh, so dope. And what's great about it was that I got that shoe in December and I didn't unbox it until I got the courage to do the video. I wrote uh, YouTube videos for two years straight. Um, I started my sophomore year in high school. I didn't even get a video out until my senior year. Only because I was too scared. I was too scared of comments. I was too scared of people not liking it. No followers, no subscribers, none of that. I was always so afraid that somebody was going to judge it or somebody was going to see me as weird or whatever. And what was great was that I finally did my senior year because I always make excuses. I'd be like, um, I don't have a camera. My dad's a photographer. Of course I have a camera. I don't have the quality shoes. I don't have Yeezys. I don't have OBO 10s. I don't have Don C's. I don't have those. I said, well, you got something. You got the new Jordans. Somebody wants them. So why don't I pull them out and show them how, what they look like on feet or us a review on them. How's the leather feel? I always made excuses for myself and some people make excuses for themselves when it comes to making channels. But this is the best time to start it only because this is a great pivotal point where you can define who you are, not just through your sneakers or your clothing, but through your own voice, through your personality, through you as a person. Stop worrying about what people think or what people say. Cause like, honestly, I, don't, I told you, I don't have the biggest collection. My collection's not that big. It's a fairly small collection, but it's a collection of things that I've caught over the years in little ways. These are these shoes, this Supreme, all these book bags, it wasn't like I just popped up with them, my parents gave it to them. Like, my parents did not pay for a single thing I got. I'm not rich. I had to get a job. I had to put myself out there, get a job, and then I started buying shoes. There's some things I regret when it comes to buying shoes, like, you know, some expenses that I wish I could have gotten rid of first instead of buying shoes. But that's a past thing now. Now I gotta focus on the future. So many kids want to start a channel and they think, you know, you got to have a thousand to six thousand dollars to get the nicest shoes to do reviews on. But even then, there's millions of videos on YouTube, which I've actually seen where there's people who got Yeezys and do reviews on Yeezys and don't get a lot of views. And I'm like, how do they not get a lot of views? Are they fake or what is it? It's not that they're fake or anything. It's just the idea that the video is only a middle school part in the whole entire YouTube channel business. You gotta stick out past the shoes. You gotta put yourself in a what, and you gotta put yourself out there to be not only just advertising shoes, but advertising yourself. You're the one doing the video, not the shoes. So don't think a pair of Yeezys or a pair of Don C's or OVO's, Pusha T's, Kendrick Lamar's, or any of those things that they're gonna put you on the map when it comes to the YouTube game. It's honestly gonna be yourself and only you. But that's all I had to do, guys. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about that because I was just doing a little bit of research on YouTube and I was thinking to myself, you know, uh, I need to put myself out there differently. And I'm tired of these basic reviews where people just re watch them and go to the next one and don't even leave a subscribe or a like or a comment. Those are boring. You, I want to hear what people say. I like hearing the negative comments sometimes. Sometimes I got to need them. You know, your sound quality is bad. That's true then I need to change it. But sometimes there's other comments that aren't needed, like, you know, or you're stupid, your hair's ugly. Those you don't need to listen to, even though they're always there and they stick out louder. Because at the end of the day, I do love that you're doing a good job, great vid, 
those little small ones are the greatest comments on earth because they keep this channel going. But thank you guys again for watching. My name is The Common Hype Beast. I apologize for being a little bit inspirational there. Um, a little bit of a longer video, but thank you guys again for watching. My name is The Common Hype Beast. Watch any one of my other videos. Uh, I got more to come. And if you guys want to watch any of these sneaker videos that are in my closet, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave anything out there for you. But my name is The Common Hype Beast. Thank you guys again. I appreciate my subscribers, my watchers, viewers, and the likes, comments, area, anywhere. I appreciate you guys. From the left to the right, front to the back, I appreciate y'all. My name is Common Hype Beast. I'm signing out of here. Peace.